The Houston Wastewater Program is one of the many successes of the City of Houston's Infrastructure Modernization Program. Through programs such as this one, the city not only upgrades its infrastructure, but brings jobs to the community, and in the case of this program, enhances our environment. Prior to undertaking this program, the city had over 200 known constructed overflow locations, which discharged a mixture of sanitary sewage and stormwater to our local streams and bayous, relatively uncontrolled during wet weather. This was unacceptable. The solution to the overflow problems had to be practical and affordable. Replacing all leaking house connections and replacing all leaking sanitary sewers was not the answer. It was too expensive and too disruptive. The partial answer was to rehabilitate and add capacity to our sanitary sewers, upsize and modernize our pumping stations, and upsize and modernize our wastewater treatment plants. Even that could not solve all the wet weather problems in an affordable way. The final element used to solve the wet weather overflow problem was the construction of three wet weather facilities. Construction of the wet weather facilities saved $200 million of new sewer and treatment plant capacity and resulted in no significant negative water quality impact. Typical in concept of the wet weather facilities is the system in the Sims Bayou service area. That service area contains 720 miles of sewers, 30 pumping stations, two wastewater treatment plants, and the Scott Street wet weather facility. The Scott Street wet weather facility is fed by two wet weather pumping stations, the Belmont Street pumping station and the Scott Street pumping station. The Belmont Street and the Scott Street pumping stations each house two pumping modules. One module for dry weather flows that pump flows to the wastewater treatment plants and one pumping module for wet weather flows for those times when flows cannot be accommodated by the wastewater treatment plants and have to be pumped to the Scott Street wet weather facility. During dry weather and most rainfall events, because of the expanded sewer system, pumping stations and the wastewater treatment plants in the Sims Bayou service area, only the dry weather pumping modules need to operate as shown here for the Belmont Street pumping station. During rains, when all flows to these pumping stations cannot be accommodated by the wastewater treatment plants, the mixture of rainwater and sanitary sewage is directed to the wet weather pumping modules and that flow is pumped to the Scott Street wet weather facility for processing. When flows enter the Scott Street wet weather facility, the tanks begin to fill in sequence. For most rainfall events, the tanks will store the flows that come to it without further processing being necessary. When the rainfall subsides and treatment plant capacity is available, the stored mixture of rainwater and sanitary sewage is pumped to the wastewater treatment plants. The wet weather facility is then cleaned by high pressure water cannons and placed on standby for the next rainfall event that will require its use. So, what does the scorecard look like as a result of the Houston Wastewater Program? The Houston Wastewater Program contained over 400 construction contracts. The program cost was $1.2 billion some $800 million less than had been originally forecasted. The savings are attributed to the cooperation among the City of Houston, TNRCC, and US EPA in using innovative engineering solutions, and the City meets its deadlines. The $1.2 billion program was a necessary utility expenditure, but it had benefits. Modernized facilities that can be operated at a lower cost, along with improved customer service, enhancement of the environment. Economic well-being to the community by this program retaining over 90 percent of the expenditures in the local economy. But our challenge is not over. We still have old sewers and poor quality house connections. These issues will continue to need attention in the years to come. Our population will continue to grow which will demand our constant vigilance to ensure we continue to meet our obligations to the environment and the growth of our community. 
Our challenge is to become even more effective stewards of Houston's wastewater system and to continue to strive for operating and maintenance savings without threatening the integrity of the system that we have restored.